it's Marissa with the Umbrian Sewist. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm super excited to be part of the vlogging tour for Selfless Sew April 23. I believe that's what I call it. It's called, I'll put the hashtag below. Um, this is a wonderful challenge uh, that is being hosted by Claire from Stitch Hem Sew, Adele from Sew for Serenity, and Crystal from My Social Thread. Uh, as I'm talking about, I'll put all of the pictures up here that sort of give you information. But essentially, as I'm sure you have heard, because this is, I think, day 18, that this is an opportunity for sewists to sew for other people uh, or animals, I believe, is also allowed. And uh, yeah, it's just an opportunity to bring joy of your sewing to others. And uh, I sew regularly for my son. And so this is something I definitely enjoy doing. Now I, and with the challenge um, as well, you, uh, there are certain categories, again, should be in the pictures that you can participate in. And then there's also sort of like just general draws um, that are just random for some prizes or amazing prizes as well. And you just need to uh, post your, um, your makes at the end of the month. Uh, with the right hashtag. Again, everything will be on the screen and also in the description box. And you are in with a chance of winning. Now, if anyone has watched my channel before, you will know that I always um, overcommit or I'm overly ambitious. And um, as this particular challenge coincided with me sort of reorganizing my sewing space and getting out all of these, these sort of smaller cuts and scraps of fabric, um, I was shocked and overwhelmed by the quantity of off cuts and smaller pieces of fabric that I could not use to make garments myself. And so I thought I would sort of combine the selfless sew sort of aspect to using up smaller pieces of fabric. Now, I have a friend in Seattle who has a little girl. She will be um, one next month, um, but I am going back to Seattle in August. So I wanted to make her some clothes and I was going to make like a 2T size because she's, um, she's bigger than a 12 month, but um, by August she will be even bigger. So I thought 12, two month, two years. So I've got a bunch of things I'm making for her. Uh, a friend of my son, well, my son's friend has a new baby sister, so I'm going to make something for her, and I'm going to make some things for my son. So I'm going to show you what I plan to make. So the first um, thing that I want to make is for my son, and it is this pattern here, which is the Ellie and Mac Scrap Buster pattern, they call it. And basically, um, I printed it very small here. I'll show you some of the line drawings. There's quite a few options, but obviously, um, as you can see by some of these pictures, the idea is you've got sort of these different um, pieces here that you can piece together to make um, garments. Like for example, here looks like they've just used sort of two colors to do this two-tone um, sort of different panels. And I thought this would be fantastic. This is also pretty cool because it gives you, um, you can make a hoodie, you can make a t-shirt. I have no idea where the line drawings are. Oh, here we go, very small. But um, yeah, you can make a hoodie, you can make long sleeve, you can make short sleeve. So there's quite a few options. And again, using up small some of the smaller pieces of fabric. This particular pattern goes from six to 12 months all the way up to 14, so also extremely useful. So what I did was I pulled out a bunch of smaller pieces of fabric um, and, uh, you know, thought, just kind of pulled them out. So I haven't cut these out yet. Everything else I've actually, most of it I've cut out already, ready to sew. So the first one I thought I would use would be these two cuts. So I made him pants out of these two. These are, um, it's like a summer weight sweatshirting, so you can see the fleece backside. So they're both exactly the same type of fabric. I also have bits of ribbing from both. So um, hopefully between those two, I can make him a sweatshirt or a hoodie. I don't believe I'll have enough for a hoodie, but we'll see. So um, that's the first sort of scrappy sweatshirt. The next one, which again, I don't know if I'll have enough, but I could do a t-shirt, are these two bits of Pokemon fabric. Bit 
busy, but um, I made him a sweatshirt out of this and hat and snood scarf thing out of the white. And yeah, I just have some nice bits left. Again, same weight of fabric. It's like a French terry. Um, and yeah, so you're gonna try to do something with those. Then the next um, are these two. Again, recently made him a t-shirt in this and have a good amount of that. And then just a solid sort of navy blue. Again, probably a t-shirt, sweatshirt type of thing. Um, and then I also have these um, two. Again, made some the t-shirt from recently out of this. And then I have an offcut of this. Um, I believe this is um, some sort of French not French Terry, some like Jersey. Um, it's incredibly soft, um, but I got that. Don't have a clue where I got it. I'm not gonna pretend. So those are two. And then the last one are these two. Recently made him a shirt with this cool um, sort of emergency vehicle um, fabric. And then I've got this red. Will I make all of these? Most likely not. I mean, within the next couple of weeks, but I am hoping to make them. I mean. You know, it's exciting to use the scraps, but then I look at this um, picture here of like all the different pieces and I'm like, ooh, could be a lot of work. Anyway, I'm going to do it. So that is the first pattern. This pattern, I don't know if it's still on sale, but I got it in one of their patterns. It was like $2 or in euros, one euro 86. So I thought really great value for that. The next um, items I'm going to make are using this pattern, which is another Ellie and Mac. It's called the breezy dress pattern. Very, very simple jersey dress. You've got a front, you've got a back, you've got a neckline, and then the skirt, which is the same for the front and the back. You just kind of um, cut it out on the fold. Um, some really cute versions here, just various ages. Um, so I plan to make one of these for the new baby. Um, it goes from a six to 12 months. So obviously that's the one I'm going to make for the new baby because my experience is new babies always get lots of new baby clothes and they can't actually wear them all. And then they have no clothes for when they get older. So I'm going to make a six to 12 months for the new baby. And my son selected this fabric, which is a beautiful cotton jersey with, um, lavender and lots of different little flowers and leaves and things so I thought that would be nice and then I'm going to make a 2T for my friend's little girl I hope will hopefully have enough of this although looking at it I'm not sure we'll see I don't think I do actually we'll see um this is a viscose jersey I made myself some pajamas out of this and I've got this left and then the other one is this which is a lovely fabric that I purchased quite a while back and made myself something that was complete fail out of, but I do love this fabric. So I'm gonna try with this as well. I'm not sure I'll have enough of either, but I haven't actually measured them out. I've just kind of got them out, but definitely will have enough of this. And in fact, I probably should have used this for the two because, so I may swap that around without my son knowing. Anyway. So that is the, and this goes up to a 14 as well. So it's a really lovely pattern. I bought this a while ago. I don't have a daughter, but I like making clothes for friends. So that's the second. The next item I don't have a picture of, but I'll put um, a picture somewhere here, are, um, is the child's t-shirt pattern. It's the Dibby anything but basic t-shirt. And I've actually cut this out. So I've cut this out. All three of these are gonna be in the 2T for my friend. Um, the first one is sort of this um, leafy fabric with sort of browns and oranges. I hemmed and hawed about, is this a cute fabric? But, I mean, I like the fabric, but it's a bit browny, but still gonna use it. The next one is this beautiful waffle knit with, um, these leopards on it, which was an off cut from a sweater I made for my son. And then the final is another brownsy, browny sort of color. And this is a rib knit um, that I got from one of my fabric surprise boxes. And for all of you who have been watching my channel for a while, you will be very proud to hear that I was offered the chance to buy another fabric surprise box and I turned it down because 
I had my fab my fabric scraps all sort of laid out. And it was overwhelming. I had like four shopping bags full and I thought, don't need any more. So anyway, didn't buy them. Okay, next are the Waves and Wild Lightning Leggings. Again, I'll put a picture up here. Um, but I made, I cut out th three pairs again for the two-year-old in these fun off cuts that I had. This is like a Ponte Roma, um, nice sort of stable knit um, that I have had in my stash or scrap stash for a while. I had a pair of pants myself that are no longer out of these. Um, the next one is a nice Ponte that I recently made a Metra jacket with. Really lovely quality, another nice one. And then the last one are, um, I'm wearing these pants now. It's this gorgeous, gorgeous velour, which has um, this on the back and absolutely stunning fabric. I'm wearing um, right now a pair of True Buys Hudson pants using the same fabric. So those are the lightning leggings. Um, now these do sew up pretty quick. So hopefully I can do a lot of these. Now the last is this wonderful pattern, which is the kids sweatshirt pattern made by me patterns. It goes in a size two, they go two to three, three to four, four to five, but the band goes from two to 10. Um, it's a lovely pattern I've made for my son. He's at the eight to nine now, so I think I've got one more size. I cut this out in the two to three for my friend's daughter, and I've cut out quite a few. So this is the first. It's this like marled um, sort of nice French terry with this nice ribbing, and the ribbing is used from the off cut of the shirt I'm wearing. The next one is this really pretty um, sort of pink hot pink with um yellow sort of marling and then i picked out the yellow for the ribbing and then the last one is this super funky um animal print with black ribbing now none of these things really match in terms of like the lightning leggings and shirts and sweatshirts but i'm sure she has lots of other clothing and can match all of these things with some of the other things. And um, yeah, it was super fun looking through scraps. And some of these scraps I've had for absolutely ages, couldn't make anything for myself, but really loved them. And um, it's super exciting to find something to do with them. So those are my plans for Selfless Sew April 23. I will categorically not get all of them done, um, but hoping to get a lot of them done. Um, but there's so many other exciting things to sew as well. So it's going to be hard to keep focused. Um, but yeah, thank you anyone who's joining me for the first time. If you like sewing, if you like fabric, then I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel and like this video. And, um, for any subscribers who are coming back time and time again, thank you so much. It means so much to me. I love chatting with you in the comments. If you have any comments, questions, um, I'd love to hear it, but I hope you're all well and thank you again for watching and have a great week. Bye.